Many days had passed since the days of Noah's ark and the flood. Noah had many descendants who all spoke one language with a common speech. As they moved eastward, they found a plain in Shinar and settled there. Oh, Mr. Kim, have you sold a lot of pomegranates? Oh, Mr. Park, not at all. Look at this heap. <laughs> As the number of people increased, the size of the village also increased. They built sturdy homes with bricks, and there was plenty to eat. Shall we try building a really big building with these bricks? As the people grew wiser, their hearts began to increasingly ignore God. Soon, they believed that they could be as great as God. Let's build ourselves a tower which will be the tallest tower in the world. No one will be able to hurt us if we have this tower and we can be as great as God. Indeed, even God himself will not be able to punish us so easily. The people grew increasingly greedy and began to build an extremely tall tower. They began to build a tower that would reach to the heavens. Higher! Higher! Come on! Heave! Yo! That's it! Yes, the end of the heavens is in view. Wow! wow. Yes! Come, come on. on! The people did not ask God if he would be pleased with such tower and just built it. They had grown proud and no longer feared God. With each day, the tower grew higher and higher. God saw the tower that the men were building and was not pleased. And so, God confused their language so they would not be able to understand each other. Give me the hammer! What did you say? Huh? What are you saying? I said, give me the hammer! Waka waka cuckoo! Horororo! Horororo! What is all this noise? What is going on all of a sudden? Buhao! Buhao! Nani? Nani? The people could not understand each other. Misunderstandings grew and there was an uproar. The people could no longer work together. They stopped building the tower and were scattered all over the world. It was only then that the people realized how great God was. The tower was called the Tower of Babel and was never completed.